Welcome to 36 Full Press and Craps Nation, YouTube's premier craps channel. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Press here. Hey, good evening, and welcome to my channel. This is 36 Full Press, and in today's episode, I'm just going to do a variation of my Cleveland Hustle. Uh, I said I would go ahead and uh, try to do an update on the last uh, my last trip to the Jacks. Haven't really had much time to uh, get a video out, so I figured I would just uh, show you guys what I was playing, how I was playing it, while I was doing it. So um, right off the rip, I mean, I just walked in when I was buying it. I said, hey, go ahead and lay the 4 and 10. Give it to me for 200 each. And don't you know, right off the bat, threw a 7, made my $100 off of each one. And that was a quick $200, but I just wanted to kind of show you how I'm playing. I saw my good buddy and uh, longtime friend, Uncle Angelo, is putting out some videos uh, about his uh, laying numbers, and it's kind of like uh, a good variation of the hustle, uh, along with uh, Wager Me This, of course, is doing his no 10. So uh, with that being said, the biggest uh, advantage that you have here is you're just trying to, <clears throat> for at least with the hustle, is you're just trying to uh, get a couple hits and then pull everything down and let your numbers work. So this is how I like to do it. And I'm just I'm just gonna give you a general idea. So I do a uh, I do a don't pass right off the bat. So we'll save uh, ten dollars. And then what I'll do is I'll lay I'll lay the four. I don't know why it's not. Let's try that. And a 10. It doesn't matter. We'll just do something like that just to kind of get it close. And then what I'll do is I'll place. Um, let's just do. That's not what I want to do here. It doesn't matter. I just wanted to place these numbers. And then you just roll. See what happens. The idea Dana, is just looking for a couple Pasadena. hits. So I got paid on that nine. If that nine comes down, I'm only looking for another one. Seven out. Line and away, seven out. That happens. Out, I mean, that always happens behind. on this game. But the idea is still the idea is still the same. I I hate that it won't let you take the. Take the lays down. Six. Easy. Got six, a six is good. There. Hard six is better. Winner six, take the don't six. Line. So that's the idea is you're just you're looking to get a couple of hits. Eight. Easy. Got eight. eight. Go ahead and put the six back up. Three. Three winner crabs. on the dark side. Eight. Winner eight. Got an eight again. Seven. So I got paid. <clears throat> I got paid on those lays. Stupid phone. Not sure why it's not letting me do it. It's not letting me take the lay down. But anyways, Six I just wanted you guys to see way. exactly how this is being played. Eight so I do, the I'm just looking way. for uh, I'm looking for a couple, just a couple Six, of hits, eight, and then the let race. that seven pay me. So right now I'm up to two fifty plus all the money I have up there. So. This thing does not. Does not let me take this lay off of here. Whatever. Let's go ahead and play it out. Yo, 11. Yo, yo take the don't, pay the line, single the field. And yo, 7, got, front I got line paid winner. on that. Yeah, there's even a. You know, like always, a kid next to me is like, well, how, how's this Shooter, working? How's he always nine. making all this money? Well, it's because I'm getting paid on the seven. I'm getting paid five, on the numbers hit. Five, come bets go to five. Five. Just keep, just keep collecting. Three. Five. Eight, the easy all way. Right, so like I would be taking the lay down right now. Five. We got the fever. Ten. Hard See, he 10. just took my 10. 
Doesn't matter because I already made my no money. Field five. All that. Eight. Just no go field ahead and keep collecting as I go oh, here. Six. Seven out. Yeah. Line away. <clears> There's my seven. So as you can see, if it let me pull. It'll let me pull my money off, or just not letting me do for some reason. You would see that I had all my uh, I had all my money back plus double. So that's just a general idea, anyways. So this is 36 full press. This is my Cleveland Hustle. Hopefully, I can get a, a better video out. Maybe if I can come up with a different uh, software on my computer, do it something like that, something like what Uncle Angelo has, uh, where I can actually. Um, do my own thing like wind scraps or something all right until later you guys know what to do press out welcome to 36 full press and craps nation youtube's premier craps channel Too. Sorry about that. A little technical difficulties. No big deal. Got wagered me this back on the line. Last number we rolled was a nine. So what a field got paid, 10 bucks. Um, you're playing the six and eight, going heavy on that hard way. So uh, looks like I got a pretty good layout there. Uh, what do I got there? I got a 10, nine, eight, and six on the don't come. A little bit of a don't pass action. He's throwing the three, two, three, six. Go ahead, Jacob. Let's go ahead and Roll till uh, you hit that hard way or that seven. Okay. There we go. You got to love the technical difficulties around here. It's like you're trying to run it through Skype, and uh, who the hell even knows? Six, four. Get the six, four, ten. Easy ten. It pays the field. I lose that. Don't come. But uh, we'll go ahead and replace it. It's no big deal. If you don't really understand how flat betting works, say you flat bet, uh, you know, $100 at $10 a pop. So you got 10 bets. You're going to lose half of your bets and still come out even. So anything less than 50% of a return, you're going to make money. That's just basic probability. You got a $10 bet. It doesn't get replaced. You're going to lose half your bets, come out even. So that's really all I'm doing with quarters. I like to play with the blacks. a little bit more fun, a little bit more exciting, and a hell of a lot better return. But we'll go ahead. and you got me a quarter up there. I can't really see the don't come anymore. but Yeah, it's in there. You paid my ten dollars. I did. All right, here we go. All right. Yeah, don't even mess with your camera, bro. <laughs> oh. Don't even mess with it, baby. We're hanging oh, in. Ugly. Four and a three. What is it? Four three. Go ahead and pay me out. Here we go. What did I end up getting there? I think I lost I lost two. I know I lost two numbers. So I got a 25, 50, 70. I made a hundred and a quarter, it looks like. What'd I get? Yeah, 175. Yeah, but I lost some money on the field and I lost two bets, so about a hundred and a quarter. Well, that would yeah. That's what that would calculate to. Yeah, so right. we're being scared. I like to do that two or three times. So let's go ahead and do it again. So what, what Jacobs, go ahead and explain exactly for the viewers exactly what you're trying to accomplish. Yeah, we're messing around with your throw. Just be consistent with that. You just run a, through, uh, a true 3V set, throwing stick left, stick two, somewhere six and seven and a half Vs, I'm right there. But what are you doing? So basically you're running a $50 dump, table minimum, six and eight. You hit the six and eight, you go ahead and whatever the point is or a hard way. Is that what it is? Or Explain that to me well, again. I mean, if it lands on the four or ten on the point, of course I'm going to put the hard four or the hard ten as my hard way. Yeah. Because that just makes sense. If it lands right. on the six or the eight as the point, I'll put it on the six or eight, but then I'll have to move one of them to the nine or five just to keep – because I'm trying to generate free money on that hard way. Absolutely. So, as long as I don't hit the point and knock off that dome, no matter what happens, in the end I'll make more money than I started with. So this is, I guess this is my question, right? And, you know, I I was just kind of thinking about this. So you got a $50 dump. So you got 24 invested, right? 
Mm-hmm. So how high are you willing to take that hard way? You know, with the with the, you know the free money, even if you move one or the other before you start saying, okay, I have twenty five, which pays what? Seven? Is it seven or is it nine? On the seven, seven to one, so twenty five. Okay, so- Right, so you're still going to make a good chunk of change over your don't, right? So yeah. do you ever get to a point where you're like, okay, I got 25 bucks on there, I got $50 on there, I'm going to start pocketing some of this money or even spreading out to like, like you said, the five or the nine or something else where you can actually start generating more money? Or is it just straight, you know, whatever I take goes on the hard way? Go ahead, the truth. Um, yeah, uh, believe it or not, I think every way is right. That's what I think. It doesn't matter. That's not what I'm getting at, but I'm saying, I'm saying what would, I mean, it doesn't matter what's right or wrong. It's what we decide as content, content creators is what we want to put out. So what are you saying? I mean, you play as just as much as I do. So what do you, what do you um, want? I mean, what would you do? Would you pocket some of the money? Would you kick the money somewhere else? Would you play a horn? But like, what, what, what would you do with it? Say, I mean, say you hit the six and eight, five, five times. I mean, now, I mean, do you really want, Seventy dollars or sixty dollars on the hard way to lose that. I mean, what what do you want to do here? Yeah, you you, you definitely would get to a point there where it was some decision making time. So yeah, I would probably go to fifty. And the so reason 50, I say so fifty would be your cutoff. That's I mean that's a good number. Forty five fifty. Bucks. I say that is because that pays three hundred and fifty dollars if you win on the seven. Right, so to you're one. covering clear fifty bucks. So yeah, I mean. As long as you're not knocking off the point, I don't know that I would be worried one way or the other. Mm-hmm. But it does make sense to take that profit at some time. Well, and I'm not huge on that, to be honest with you. I mean, just to put it out there, I don't, you know, that's just not really how I think. Like, I'm not worried, like, oh, I need to start whatever, pulling money back. That's not even really what I was getting at. I was just more of like, what, what is your perspective? You know what I mean? Because people are going to ask you. You got to know you've been doing this long enough. People are going to ask you, how long do I do this? Because they really want someone like Vince Armani to like give them a printout of like, if this happens, do this. Like that's yeah. where, really where craps has come for a lot of the viewers. Unfortunately, I don't think they really understand the whole game itself. So like $50 at $50 to start pocketing the money until a decision is made. Is that what you're saying? Or yeah, well, I mean, probably what I would do is if I get to that fifty dollar level, what I'd probably do then is I would just jump on another hard way and try to get it to fifty bucks. Yes, yeah, because I would. that's good. Because the the idea is I, I'm trying to take advantage of that crazy odd. Right. Yeah, and it's good because it comes up. You know what I mean? You got a pretty good shot at it. So, well, but, let's go ahead and. Uh, Let's go ahead and, you want some deals and roll it up again. You got 50 there. Oh, give me a $10. Yeah, there. Thank you. Yep. $10 field. I like it. All right. Here we go. Trying to land on that 6 8. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was right on top of it. Hey, we're winners. That's a 2 1. I like it. All right. So, this is what I do right here. So, anybody that doesn't know how I play, right? So, I made 35 bucks, right? So I literally, I got a bet and a half. I got a, I got a free field bet, and I have a free don't come bet. I, I just always kind of just mark that in my head, right? So, you know, obviously I scoop that. I will um, just kind of rack both of those, but just kind of mentally, I'm thinking I kind of won there. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you take, you take oh, the yeah. what they're worth. Go ahead and uh, do me a favor real quick. Take that, take that left die, and uh, pull it down one. Roll it down towards you one time. There you go, right there. Throw that. Okay. That's your new set. Should be a five three three six. You like it? Here we go. Yeah. A five and a four. There we go. We got a niner. I got my field win, and my uh, got a point established. You got to let me know what's up. We're just running through the dome. Yeah, we're just going to run through it one time. And then what I think what we're going to do is I think I'm going to run two of them. And then I'm going to do a little hybrid blender action. Because I like that nine point. 
with the field. So I think what we're going to do is I'm only running a quarter. So just depending on where the number is at, we'll, we'll go ahead and do a little hybrid blender. Hopefully everybody can see it. If you don't really understand the blender, man, I got many videos on it. Three point standard vendor blender. They're all out there. So yeah, five, three, three, six. Let's go ahead and uh, let's try to see if we can hit the outsides. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're consistent, you probably should hit that six and eight, maybe uh, a couple of times, but they'll be, they'll come easy. And we'll hit the outside here. There's the five. There it is, the outside. Yep, I'll take it. Go ahead and give me a um, give me a fifteen dollar five. I'll take the one dollar, but I'll, I'll, I'm looking for seven there. So uh, lost my field bet. Go ahead and replace that ten bucks for two hits. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Another quarter on the back half. Thank you. We're looking for one more number. Yep, five, three, three, six. I think you'll come back to that nine, but it's gonna be about four or five rules deep if you if you're if you're consistent, which I think you are. Four one five. <laughs> Baby, you're right back to it. That's all right. Lost that twenty five, but I made I made a buck. All right, go ahead and rack it, slide it. Leave that, leave that 15 there. Obviously, just rack that because we're we're going re, we're replacing it. Yep, let's replace my uh, field bet that I lost. Make that field bet a 15 if you don't mind, real quick. I, I apologize. Thank you. All right, cool. Stay right there. Five, three, three, six. Beautiful. I can read dice in my sleep, brother. 12, 12, double, double. We'll take, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead. Well, we want to get a double here on this cheap ass table or what? Uh, <laughs> that's what it says. All right. Well, double me up, baby. Thank you. Go ahead and just run that, uh, set that aside. We'll go ahead and knock me down to 10 bucks in the field. All right. Cheap ass casino. <laughs> I love, I love me some Detroit Motor City, baby. They play triple in the bubble over there. If they get too crazy, it might be triple in the one in or the two in as well. Yeah, I know. They might get nuts. Let's go for that four. Seven. Seven? Yeah, let's go ahead and pay me up. There we go. So that, that happened. That just happened so much more than not. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so. Yep, five, three, three, six. Yep. So I'm going to have to adjust what I do then because clearly that's not going to roll sixes and eights, right? Uh, it, 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 for you, way that you've been throwing from like basically what the dice are saying, you're throwing outside numbers, right? So let's go ahead. If you want to try the six and eight, let's try. Ah, oh, man. Let's see oh, if I can. I like playing the four and ten. I'll yeah. play the four and ten. Well, here, let's, let's, do a little, let's do a little wager. Wager me this, right? So you, like, yeah. you want to play four and ten outside. Throw that five, three, three, six. Go ahead and throw me the hustle. Throw me a, let's do a hundred, four and ten. So it'll be a hundred and five to you. Or 205 bucks, I apologize. Yep. And then give me a 110 inside with a $10 pass line, if you don't mind. All right, let's just let's roll with this for a minute. So I'm going to do right. this for three hits. I'm on. I'm always working on this. So I my five, six, eight, nine are working. Uh, Vig's paid. Everything's paid. Now, you should... In theory, hit that four and ten within five rolls. So I want to be out in three. Five, okay. Three, six down the middle. Nice and easy. Hit that six eight all day long. Ace ace. That pays okay. me. All right, I lost you one. All right, go ahead and refill me. You threw it. You threw a two, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you, well, you're gonna you're gonna throw extremes here, but I just didn't realize you're gonna come right off on the two. I would have kept that 
field that going. All right. There you go. Yeah, we should probably see a 12 and maybe even a yo here in a minute. Eight, hard way. All right. Go ahead and pay my eight. Put that point up. Pull my eight down with it. Rack it? Yeah, just rack it up. Yeah, I'll take a couple more hits, and then I I might just, uh, I don't know. I, I think this is kind of like what we we're talking about. I'm going to wait and see what happens. I'm going to I'm gonna kind of kind of predict what it is that you're going to throw based on what you're throwing and see how close I am. Drop my bigs. I'm playing the four can. Looking for that five or nine right now. Three, one, four. Got him. Got me. All right. So, yeah, you actually hit that. So, that, that was the perfect set for your outside. I mean, I, I was willing to bet on that. So, go ahead and yank my four and make a $200 bet, if you don't mind. Another uh, 250 on the big. So, I just made my 50. So, I'm going to put this hard four down or quarter because mm -hmm. that's, that's nice. Uh, mm -hmm. So, now you want to go to 200? Yeah, I want to go 200 on the four. There we go. See, that's the thing is, right, is you're throwing the fight. I mean, that was literally the – I mean, that's the set for how you're throwing. That's why I'm saying that, like, you're consistent. All you have to do is just be consistent in what you're doing. And, I, I, I you know, we'll, we'll talk about this later, but I have a feeling that I, if I work with you, I can get you within a, a couple numbers, a couple rotations that you should be pretty comfortable. I like it. Mm-hmm. Nine, five, four, nine. Nine that I was looking for. I can't believe you hit that four ahead of me, but that's okay. We're, we're okay with it. Pay the nine, bring it down with you. Yeah, hopefully it'll come back half, play side five. Uh, six and eight are kind of like a long shot on this set. Uh, if you want to rotate to that six and eight, we can do that, but you can do what you want. You can go ahead and take that left die and turn it in one time. In? Yep. Turn it in one time. So yeah, one, like one, time. one, three, three, six. There you go. Okay. So All you're right. saying you should make sixes and eights, right? Yeah, from your rotation. Yeah, you should be six and eight or extremes. So you're gonna we're gonna see based on your landing zone if this set right here will give you the inside six and eight because we rolled we rotated away from it already. The last move will be one more move that I'll show you if we get to that point. But let's go ahead and take a look and see what you got. All right. Now, you get, the only thing is you got to do your part and just try to stay as consistent as possible. And I'll read your dice. Seven. That's I got a little short, and I think that's what did that. Well, th what, what was the seven, though? Was it a five-two or was it a four-three? Because I'm no, thinking it was a four-three. It was a six-one. Really? So you went all the way to the backside. So you stayed you stayed consistent with your left die, and you went ahead and went ahead and pitched or uh, basically laid down on the inside. So go ahead and pay me out. I made a little bit of money there, not a whole lot, but I, I made a couple of dollars to make it worth it. You got a black chip. I don't got a black chip. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and lay up the standard hustle real quick. Just go ahead and give me a uh, $10 pass line. Let's go 100, 100, 110 inside working. And let's go ahead and get away from that. Let's go 5, 3, 3, 1 on the dice set. And I, I think that I think you can make this work for your inside um, if my calculations are right. It's been a little bit since I coached somebody, but since I can't really see your throw, I'm, guess, I'm guessing – that your release is a little high since you came yeah. up short. You came up short twice, right? Or once. Yeah. And I would say my release is a little high. Okay. So let's go five, three, three, one, and just do me a favor and just try to keep your fingers straight. However you, however you do it, just a soft release. Go ahead and just show the camera. Just drop your finger. No, put your foot right there. Just, just open your fingers with your thumb only. Just see like if you that. can. 
Yeah, just go ahead and grab the dice however you want. But just drop it with your thumb by moving your thumb only. All right, but you didn't. You see how you open both fingers? It's a yeah. lot harder to do than most people. Five, three, three, one. And then just pull your thumb back. Leave your other fingers. At, there you go. So the idea is the momentum from your hand will actually create the rotation, right? It's basic physics. So the rotation minus the, the, the friction from your thumb plus the variance of your hand movement is going to cause rotation, right? So that's what I'm trying to calculate in my head. If you can release from your thumb, I can kind of get a decent idea of what you're going to get. A 5-3-3 three, three, wants you to hit you somewhere on the inside numbers. 5, 6, 8, 9, but they're going to come easy. So that's what right. we're looking for. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, you got hops on this bitch because I'm hopping the 6 and 8. Hard 4? Wow, you got a hard 4, so you're actually over-rotating. All right, go ahead and knock me off. Put 200 bucks on there. That's a five three three one with a hard four, huh? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I get. I mean, so here well, let's take a look at it. Pull now, rotate those dice right there to a hard four. And this will exactly what. Now go ahead, boom, and then out. Yeah, yeah so it had, exactly. It bounced yeah, funny. So you had to go double pitch plus. And then implosion on one die. I mean, all right. That's all right. So we're at 200 on the four. That's fine. You should be all, all over the inside. All right. Uh, I need to get me some more bets out of here. Go ahead, baby. Take so uh, I'm going to go with the six and eight. Them are place bets. I'm just putting them behind yours. That's fine. All right. I'm going to do this right. You don't want to drop your other two fingers on there because it looks like you're pitching. You need to pull those points down, the outside points. Go ahead and take your uh, your pointer finger and your ring finger, finger and just so ever so gently just touch the points of the dice. Okay. And then release with your thumb. I know it sounds like a lot, but it, it, it's... I think I got it. All right, here we go. Right in the right spot, hard six. All right. That works. Amazing that you're getting a hard way on there since your your variance is, is actually like a lot of action. And we both got 35. Hard four for me. I'm better off to figure out what it is that your dice did. I don't really care about the money at this point. I'll go ahead and take my pay, rack me up. Yeah, I'm going to take three pays and come down. That's all I'm going to do, really. Five, three, three, one. All right. So that's an easy four. Right? Either one of those are, yeah, just like that. Just nice and soft. Yeah. That's all we want to do. You want to make a small C with your fingers. That's it. Yo. Right. Yeah, that, that's your extreme. Yeah, but see, you doesn't hurt anybody right now. But a yo makes more sense. So you get you get another you get a twelve a yo a two or a three. We're taking that right die and we're tipping it in. At least I know you're throwing in the right pattern. Five three eight. Five three eight. That's your easy eight. All right, so we're we're on target. Go ahead and pay it. You know, what's funny, man, is uh, Sergeant Passline was with me in Cleveland one night. I think it was one of his longest rolls, and I was legit standing there calling his his shots and the person ahead of him based on the set that he was throwing and where his landing zone was. Nothing more of his throw, his release, none of that shit. The guy was consistent. He was consistent. I was changing his dice set, and he, I think he threw for about a good 50 minutes. Made, I don't know, made seven, 800 bucks. Not bad. For a pretty conservative shoot. You know what I mean? Five, three, three, one. Just throw it in the same spot, same release, what same do you want tempo, to same height. I'm just racking. I got one more rack and I'm out. And I, I'll leave I'll leave my point on the floor. Go ahead. I'm just like that. 
four four eight. There it is, hard eight, baby. All right, go ahead and pull my inside down. Take my ten off. Everything's paid for, even though I'm I'm a little behind. I'm up by about twenty five bucks. That's about it. Your throw is actually right on the money, though. I can't really see it, and I can't really see your landing zone. But based on the set and the rotation and the calculations that I made prior to. Your other shit, you should be okay. Did you have a hard eight? No, you didn't have a hard eight, did you? No, I'm on hard ten and hard four right now. Mm -hmm. You got my ten off. All I got is my four on the point, right? Two hundred yep. dollar four. Yeah. You even though it. I lost a little money at the first time, I'm still I'm still okay right now. now. You're still gonna kill this five and nine though. Two throws, and then we're gonna run the don't come, and I'm gonna pull my four. Oh, that was too high. Hit the six, though, four, two, six. Yeah, you did easy all day long. You keep doing this, Jacob, you're, you're, you're going to be in the money and very consistent. What I need to teach you how to do is read the dice and make the move. That's all you need to do. Once George from CY learned how to change his dice, changed a lot. Even though he's doing this pendulum swing, which absolutely does nothing for him, but that's okay. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, I need a twenty-five dollar don't come in there if you don't mind. I think you're gonna hit that six or eight, five or nine, somewhere in the inside. With this calculation, you should be all over it. Or give me a yo, and I'm probably gonna lose my quarter. Nine, you were right. Five, four. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, as long as it wasn't five, six, and that was what I was worried about because I knew that five was money. I just wasn't sure. If you wouldn't mind entertaining me for a second, let, call me out your left eye to your right eye. I don't know if you can track your life, left eye, but I'll teach you how to do that. But uh, go ahead and just throw the same set and until uh, we get another yo. A yo or a seven is what we're looking for. Keep throwing the same set, same place. Hard four, got it, got it. Got it. All right. Well, I lost mine on that bet, but I, I guess I waited too long. I needed one more throw, and that was my calculation. It was, was bad. I figured if the four was going to come, it was going to come easy. Four, one, or three, one, I'm sorry. That's all right. I made my money back, and I, I, you know, I'm only up 25 bucks on the deal. So uh, I still got my $25 nine out there, which will make, uh, make me a $50 bet. Go ahead and uh, see. You see all these chips? Never yeah, mind. Pay, pay my pass line, obviously. Oh, yeah, hey, you won. There we yeah, go. Pay my pass line. I got a nine to just leave it up, and we'll go ahead and try something else. I, I'm more yep. worried about you throwing right now. So let's go back to that. Uh, you seem a little bit more comfortable. Let's go back to that three, two, three, six. And see if we can. Uh, Start dialing it in for you. Okay, we're working. Yeah, we're working. Yeah, th this is an easy. Uh, do you got hot bets, buddy? Do you got hot bets? No, but I can play them. I know how to do it. Go ahead and hop my easy six, eight, two units each. Two units is what? Yeah, so um, it's basically a dollar each. Uh, for so it's two dollars a bet. So four dollars each. Eight, it's an eight dollar bet. Just, just well, give me give me ten dollars and uh just give me ten dollars and we'll go ahead and and place two uh eights on the hard way does that make sense so you got a six and eight easy and two dollar hard way so one dollar for six and one dollar for the eight just yes. like that but yep there we go three two three six I see that six eight hop coming. Hard eight. Hard eight. Hard eight. Yeah, that's what I figured. All right, that's cool. So that paid for my bet. That that just means that you just uh, you over rotated, which is perfectly fine, but you're still all over the inside. So we're good to go. All right. Hold on, buddy. I'm trying to do something real quick. All right, I think. I get nine twenty-five dollar chips. 
So I'm going to drop one. Uh, I'm going to drop three and get three hundred dollars. So I hit. I had hard eight. Yeah, and you drilled it. Oops, that's mine, not yours. All right. What Wait, now? I did by hitting the hard way is I just paid for my hot bet. That's I mean I just basically got my money back, ten bucks. Yeah, I got it right here. What did you want to bush put them hops back? Yeah, let's go ahead and hop the six to eight, so that'd be four dollars for the hops, and then run me twenty five dollars because I already have my ten or my hard eight up. Go ahead and uh, give me a twenty five dollar don't come. Actually, give me a $30 don't come. I'm sorry, 30 Let's do the $30 blender. Five, yeah. three, three, six. Yep. 30 bucks. And now I'm going to say you're going to drill the inside. So let's go ahead and keep throwing the same exact way, Jacob. Throw the exact same way, same set, and I'll, I'll rotate your set for you. Four, two, six. Easy six. All right, go ahead and pay that and rotate me. Yep, give me another thirty dollar blender and go ahead and put my four dollars back up, six eight. Yep. There you go. I know it sounds like a lot of fuss and shit, but it's it's just kind of fun. You know what I mean? If if you yeah. get in the rhythm of a lot of times I'll just have them parlay it once I hit it and then I'll go ahead and run back behind. I'm not doing it for money. I'm doing it because it's just pure gambling. Does that make sense? Like I'm just yeah. kind of having fun. I'm having fun while I'm still making money. I'm 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 entertaining myself on their dollar. That's really all I'm doing. Uh, do you want me to place these blender bits? Absolutely. So, um, what what are we at right now? An easy six. Go ahead and give me thirty bucks. I'll make five dollars one way or the other. You got that nine right there. At 25, that old nine. Oh, the old nine? Yeah, go ahead and give me a $20 nine. I, I didn't realize I did that. And then go ahead and place that point, that eight, because you're about ready to hit it. Well, I'm, I'm pretty much covered on the eight with the hop, so I don't really care. Okay, so what, what did you say about the nine now? The nine's 20 bucks. It's 25. Yeah, you got $20 there, but give me a $20 nine. Twenty dollar nine. Okay. Yep. There you we're go. just gonna ride the eight. Yeah, we're just gonna ride it out. Yeah, because I, I got it on the point. I, I'm playing the pass line, so I'm sure you'll hit it. Three, hey, two, three. Oh yeah, you're all over it. Here it comes right now. Five, three, easy. Pay me both ways. Three, two, five. All right. While well, you're on, uh, you're. I saw one of them's coming. That's fine. Go ahead and give me a twenty dollars five while you're at it. Yeah, I, I, you know I'm just gonna play the straight blender. I should have four points out there right now, right? All insides. What do you want to do on the eight? You have a. Well, oh, you eight, just have pass eight. I'm, eight. I'm hopping. Eight, I'm hopping. So I lost those hot bets. Oh yeah, that's right. Two. Four, six, eight, go ahead and my hard way stays up. Go ahead and give me eight dollars to change. Uh, go ahead and uh, just drop uh, ten dollars to deal. Go eight dollars on the hop and press my uh, hard ways to two bucks. There you go, ten dollar bet. So basically, I'm in it for a ten dollar bet right now, right? You see what I mean? I was like, it's like easy, cheap play, you know what I mean? But the points are ridiculous and the fun is. Outstanding. All right, here we go. Here we go. Gonna hit a ten. Ah, uh, you got the ten. All right. Thought for sure I was getting a yo out of the deal. <laughs> Six four. Hey, I gotta go for two reasons. One, my son is wanting me, and two, my phone's about dead. Hey, all right, well, let's go ahead and wrap this up. I mean, I appreciate you. I mean, of course, we had a little technical difficulty in there. 
If you're not yet subscribed, this is 36 Full Press. If you're not yet subscribed to Jacob from Wager Me This, man, he's got the toolbox stuff out. He's doing uh, he's doing all kinds of raffles where you have people come in. He's, he's, he's driving to their city. Nobody else is doing this, right? So we, we have to respect the people that are bringing more to Crafts Nation than just being part of it, right? So Crafts Nation is bringing something to the table. Jacob is actually telling his subscribers, do this, do that. And I will come to your home casino. I will buy you in and play with you. Am I wrong, Jacob, or am I right on the money there? That's exactly what I'm doing. All right. So, hey, you heard it first from the horse's mouth. This is Jacob from Wager Me This. I'm going to 36 full press. Jacob's uh, video is about ready to run out, so we're going to go ahead and end this. But until later, you guys know what to do. This is press, and we're out. Thank <laughs> you.